Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Tips. Today we're going to be talking about launch failures. Alright, the first one is ISS Expedition 36 STS 51L, Apollo 12, Soyuz 1, Mir 18, STS 107, and Apollo Soyuz Test Project. So the thing that happened the thing that happened on the ISS Expedition 36 is this on on 2013 June 16 when the ISS Expedition 36 crew arrived on at the International Space Station the problem that happened is Luca per Permitano, an Italian astronaut, drank some water and then unexpectedly his helmet got full of liquid which made it impossible for him to hear or speak to astronauts. Alright, now let's go on to the STS-51L. On the 28th of Jan January 1986 at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, just a minute after the space shuttle lifted off, a malfunction in the space shuttle spacecraft's O-ring rubber seals which caused the rocket's boosters to separate and caused a fire that started that destabilized the boosters and then it spread up the rocket itself then the shuttle w then the shuttle was going too fast that it started to break apart which led to the death death of all the astronauts on board on board Hello, Challenger. good roll program confirmed challenger now heading down range Engine's beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Engines throttling up, 3 engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. The Apollo 12. On November 14, 1969, at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, just as the Apollo 12 was about to lift off, two lightning strikes hit the rocket. They had the potential to compromise the rocket. There was a quick check to make sure that no damage was done, and then it set off to the moon. But the return to Earth was tricky and caused a little trouble. As it hit the sea, a wave hit the body of the rocket, causing it to jost, jostle, jostle and swing from its parachute. This force toppled a 16mm film camera from 
where it was secured into Alan Bean's head, causing a one-inch cut. But Alan Bean was okay because Conrad quickly bandaged the wound. Soys are one. Okay. On 23rd April 1967 at Baikunar Soys are one valid camera encountered some issues in his spacecraft, which led to his death. One solar panel wasn't deployed properly, and that caused a lot of malfunctioning for the things that needed the power from the solar panel. So with the malfunction, the crew decided to return to Earth. After breaching the atmosphere, the parachutes were deployed, but they weren't were not unfolded correctly and so the one crashes into Earth killing Halidamor Komarov. Alright, Mur 18. On January 10, 1994, at Baikunar Cosmodrome, the Mur 18 launched and reached the Mir space station we know space explorers need to stay in good physical health and no space station has the equipment to, to stay fit. So this is what happened. Norman Zygaard decided to do that but while he was doing deep knee bends, one of his straps snapped and it, he hit his eye and he had trouble seeing bright, bright things. After a couple of steroid eye drops, his eye healed. Alright, the STS-107. On the 16th of January 2003 at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, there was an accident on the STS-107. What, which was caused by a piece of foam breaking which was there to absorb the insulate the fuel tank of the shuttle heat and prevent ice from, f f from forming the foam fell off on the left wing and made a hole while they were coming back gases and smokes caused the wing to break off Apollo Soyuz test project on 24 on 24 July 1975 when the Soyuz Apollo Soyuz test project was there was the re-entry there was a malfunction in the RCS which caused a po caused poisonous nitrogen tar Chiroxide to enter the cabin, but they weren't fa fatally injured. They were rushed to hospital, and they and were found to have developed a form of chemically caused. But they all recovered within weeks. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.